something or another. Still haven't found a movie? No, there isn't anything here that catches my eye. Why don't you just pop in Endgame since we've got it? Well, that would be awesome. If some people hadn't gone to see it in theaters without me. This again? Yeah, like I'm just gonna move on, right? Well, that would be the adult thing to do, but it is you, so... We told you we were sorry, all right? And yet, you still keep bitching. So what? If life's not fair to me, then I'm entitled to whine about it. Also, tickets were available even after the premiere. But when everyone started spoiling the end game, You chose to keep bitching instead. You know what? After what you two pulled off, it's only a miracle that my dick is still intact. That's just gross. Hey, Paul Parker, suck my... What the hell? Were you expecting anyone? No. Who is it? Unveil yourself! Is that any way to welcome me in? Oh no. Oh no. Oh yeah! Hey! What's up? What's up? <laughs> it's oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> Come on! Come on! Hey guys, look who decided to tag along, huh? Uh, hello, oh, yellow guy. guy. What's happening? How you doing, huh? What's with the weapons? You look like Ninja Turtles! We thought you were some intruder. <laughs> right, because intruders ring doorbells. At least call us before stopping by! You try to have us kill you? By the way, why are you here? We hardly ever hear from you. What? I can't stop by and say hello to the people I know? You got kicked out of your place, didn't you? Uh, shit. What you up to? Well, we were just talking about how these two guys suck my Movies! Dick. We were talking about movies! Yeah, what type? I don't know, like uh, an action movie maybe? Really? Oh, shit. Well, I know exactly what kind of movie you need to see. Do you? Hell yeah! Greatest action, nay, greatest guy movie of all time! Isn't that a bit sexist? Who the hell knows anymore? Movie's so awesome, you don't even know that it existed if you tried. Stone Cold? Not even close. I'm surprised you even remember that film. I'm talking about a movie that came out on a Friday, only to be put out on video four days later. Pain and power. Pain and power. It's about a rebel cop by the name of Axel Von Muscles. Axel Von Muscles? He's the only guy for the job. Stop a group of ninja biker drug lords from taking over America. Wait a sec, I know this film. Doesn't this start off with this cover being blown in an underground fighting ring? Salting in a shootout as they made their way upstairs to their secret warehouse. Followed by a car chase scene in a marketplace trashing hundreds of carts along the way. Ended in the cars driving off a pier into the water, all thanks to Muscle's precision aimed to the suspect's head. Yeah, you're right. He needed that guy alive in order to find out the drug lord's hideout. And that's only the first five minutes of the film. Wow. But because of what happened, the chief of police tells Muscles that he's a loose cannon. He's off the case. So because of it, he gives himself a partner. A black dude by the name of Marcus McLongus. Marcus McLongus? So after another shootout interrogation happened, the two decide to work out their differences. And that's when we learn about Muscles' backstory. He's an orphan, isn't he? Yep. Raised in the Pacific Islands until he was 18 years old, before migrating to Hong Kong for five years, where he found out that he was actually American, where he's been residing for the last 10 years. And then he became a cop. Somehow. Why would he even migrate that much? Oh my god, you don't remember? He's been looking for his parents ever since he found out they were killed in a plane crash. How does that make any sense? Okay, then what? He explains how he got the woman of his dreams. Yeah, which one? The ones he boned or the ones he got killed? He had like three girlfriends, didn't he? And they all died too. Yeah, I mean the first one gets shot up at a biker bar. And the second one died because he couldn't disarm a bomb on time because he went to go grab a hot dog first. And he was hungry, dude! Plus advertisement! And the third girl got stabbed before getting her leg blown off, followed by multiple rounds fired point blank to her chest, all while at her nephew's birthday party. What? But he has a necklace of each girl's name wrapped around his neck as a memory. Or a friggin' collection. But it's okay, you know why? Because every time there's a shootout, you always know what's next. Naked girls. Naked girls, you say? Yep. And they're everywhere. At the bar, at the hospital, the elementary school. Come again? No, 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 no. That was a teacher. Oh. School. school. Teacher. Yeah, she took off her shirt while she was in the bathroom. Who the hell takes off their top when they're in the public bathroom? That's when another shootout begins. And there she was, running down the school hallway, high heels, naked and all. Ah! And she died? Not this girl. I mean, some kids died along the way in the shootout, but not Anna Watermelon. Anna Watermelons? Oh, yeah. Hey, don't let those double Ds fool you. Oh, no. She might be a school teacher during the day, but at night, she's a famous bartender slash stripper. And during the weekends, she's a hacker for the military. Nice. So the two team up. Wrong. They split up. In fact, she's only in four scenes in the entire movie, and she hardly does anything when she's there. That's not true. They did have a sex scene together, along with three other women. Who they were, where they came from, nobody knows. 
Yep, totally forgot about that. Useful moment. You also forgot about the kick-ass kickboxing fight scene she had with Electrokita. Electrokita. Right before she told Muscles where the Cuban drug lord's hideout was. Totally useful. And just in time, too. Because the villain by the name of Lord Seja! Isn't Seja Spanish for eyebrow? Lord Eyebrow! Weird ass names, right? Not really. He's got the president hostage, with the bomb that's ready to go off and destroy all of America if Muscles doesn't get to it on time. Oh, right! Another goddamn time bomb! This time, it's personal. Yeah, because number two was just a practice round. So Muscles flies over to Seha's island mansion, heavily guarded by ninjas, of course. Of course. Then he sneaks in and kills them all with nothing but his never-ending machine gun, blade, and innocent victims along the way. Did any of the bad guys get a shot off this dude? Not one. There's all those ninja skills that he learned back in the Pacific Islands, dude! I still don't understand how a man raised in the Pacific Islands became a ninja! So he and the villain finally meet in the library room, the president, the center of it all. The gun is pointed and fired multiple times at Muscles, who uses a beautiful young housemaid for a human shield. Who he randomly pulled in front of. Is she important? No. Does she have a family? Likely. Hey, wait, hold up. What's the body count in this movie? Like, how many people die? For the bad guys, I'd say about maybe 60, 70 tops. Okay, and then for the good guys? 585. 585? No, get your facts straight. 586, they forgot about the baby that the mom was holding on to. What baby that the mom was holding... Baby was... Holding on to 586. Oh, God. Anyways, Seha decides to point the gun at the president, and that's when he reveals to Muscles a startling, unsettling truth. And it was he who killed Muscles' his parents, his sis. His, his, his. It was him? Along with the killing of his first three girlfriends, he killed them too? But why? Because they're brothers. It all makes sense. What? No, their names are of different origins and they're like 20 years apart from each other. It's just dumb writing. Just when it's Seymour here at the upper hand. I'm my hero. Seha shoots muscles in the chest. <gasps> oh no. But wait, he lives. Why? Because of the necklace wrapped around his neck of the dead girlfriend save his life. How cliche can you get? No, it's not cliche. You know why? Because he got shot three times, believe it or not, and all three bullets got into the necklace. So, boom, original and symbolic. Right when Seha was ready to reload. He only had three bullets? No, he had a full round. The maid was in the way, remember? Oh, right. Axel Von Muscles delivers the final blow with an uppercut to his brother's face. The dude flies out the window and hits a car next to a propane tank, exploding on impact. Did you hear that, Green? A propane tank, just there, coincidentally. Muscles looks at the explosion and says, looks like your plan went up in flames, Seha. And as for the bomb? Oh yeah, there was a bomb, wasn't there? The movie forgot about the bomb, believe it or not. Oh. Oh well. The police finally arrive. Why don't the police ever arrive on time? How did they even get on the island? That's for Anna. She shows up alongside with Marcus. They all stand in front of a mansion, with Muscles holding Anna on his left side around her waist, a machine gun in the other hand, blood coming down his forehead. Whose blood was that? The president thanked him and planned to award him with the Congressional Medal of Honor. But do you know what Muscles said? No, what? He says, thanks, Mr. President, but I must decline. Why the hell would you decline the freaking Medal of Honor? Because it wasn't for honor or glory. It was for pain and power. As they walk away from the sirens, the reporters, the debris, and the kick-ass soundtrack. Roll credits. Boo! Boo! That movie Boo! sucked. Boo! I had a man Boo! Boo! This Boo! is a waste of time. talking about oh, garbage. Boo! It was amazing. Uh, garbage was the uh, best uh, action I movie I've ever seen. Do you want to read I want to read Oh, I thought it was pretty good. Oh, no, no. Boo! It's a good movie! Don't boo, boo at me! Boo, boo, really? Boo, you get my hand, huh? No, he's just saying, yeah, you get off stage. That's you get off stage. That was good. Yeah, get out. Me. Uh, yeah, yeah, who do I talk to? You suck. Leave me alone. Too. How Leave me alone. alone. I need you something suck. better with my life than to hear these idiots. Go. Go. You get off stage. You get off stage. Get out of here. Get out of here. You suck too. How do I talk to? Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I need something better with my life than to hear these idiots.